everybody, and welcome to the Northeast Corridor, uh, which means we're on a we're playing Train Sim World 2020 today. What a horrible year that was! Yes, we're here, and uh, yeah, we're on the Northeast Corridor because why not? And because you know, we got a uh, uh, Boston Providence coming out soonish, so I th thought, you know, why not? Let's. Let's familiarise ourselves again with the ACS64. So you need to put you into forward. There we go. And we've got all the lights set up. Uh, you're on. I like having the ditch light on because it increases visibility. Um, you're all done. We'll stick the independent all the way on. Stick you all the way off. And I think we can ready, ready to go. I'm not going to play with any of the advanced thingy me control the boys because I hate them. Uh, simply put. And it's a very simple low code so don't you just slam it in forwards and release the brakes. I assume you know, if you're starting from cold it'll be a lot more complicated. And I really like this route. I was devastated when it was announced that it wouldn't be carried forward to Train Sim World 2 because it's such a nice route. Um, it, it's just, it just feels so nice. Um, it doesn't feel overly complicated, but yet it's got that complexity that I like. Um, and it's got a really nice locomotive that you can use, but at the same time, it's... Um, and we're using metric because I couldn't be bothered to change it to uh, Imperial. It's got a, uh, a station frequency that I like. The only thing that I would change is I would swap out the freight services for some Metro North services because I think I think they would be good uh, in this um, Metro North coming down here. I th oh no, they uh, where does the Metro North? No, the Metro North comes out from up here, doesn't it? Got no idea where. Uh, we shall see at some point. Anyway. Yeah, I like this. The speedo and metrics a bit broken. God, the train sim world too hard is really nice. Comparing it to this, especially, and it is it is a very nice locomotive to drive. It feels it's got a great power range, and it is, you know, it's like Europe. In fact, I'd even say it's better than. Oh, I forgot. There's no cruise control. I'd even call it better than um, the other tracks locomotives. It's just a very nice loco. The only break is dynamic brake is not brilliant, but like we put it on max power, and it, it there's no there's no lack of power. Certainly, yeah, we're accelerating quite fast. Given we are going downhill very steep, but it, it's a very nice loco to drive. It's incredibly nice. Um, <coughs> so super excited that it's going to be coming to uh, Trainton World Two and the. First route, Boston Providence, and uh, I'm gonna do this uh, a lot. Uh, we'll do it uh, every Friday. I know that means we're not gonna have any train sim, train simulator content. Although I might do some one route, one run down on London Brighton just to see how that's like. But we're gonna have some more fun in um, some Electro Stars. We're gonna have some fun in <coughs> some. Um, Talent 2s, we're going to have some fun in the F40PH, in the cab car, by level cab car, we're going to, yeah, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be lots of fun, and I hope you guys looking forward to it. Obviously there has been some news about Rush Hour, I'm actually not that opposed to it, I don't really care, um, the price has gone up slightly, not that much, it's only going to have about... 10 bucks. It's not that big a difference. Um, the thing I'm not super happy about is they've not added the other two branches. But it makes no sense. If you knew it would be a challenge, why would you announce it really early? Like, why would you announce something that's going to be challenging and that you think you're going to change later? I, I don't understand. Anyway, uh, and the brakes on this are amazing as well. Like, if we go full, full brakes... Uh, which I know you would never do. Um, look at that drop! Look at it! 
Look! Jesus Christ! Look at it go! From 400 meters, we got from 160 kilometers now to 70. To 70! Isn't that just stupid? I mean, I don't know if the physics are entirely correct, but that is just insane. Catch points here as well. You don't see many of these in the game. It would be funny if uh, you drove off them, because normally you don't just drive off the tracks perfectly in a straight line. And I know there is one in a Peninsula Corridor, so I might toy around with that at some point. Come on, bit of break, bit of break. Yeah, is experience the dynamic break. What does that say? Alerter cutout. Oh, diddums. That's yeah, because the alerter is a stupid system. It's just vigilance. Oh, is that dynamic break? No power break. Okay. Oh, we can go a little bit faster. The only thing I don't like about this route, and it's nothing to do with the train, note, is that uh, <coughs> the speed limits are all over the place. And 160 to 70 to 90, it's just all over the place. It's shocking. But I also love the bud cars. They are absolutely amazing. And, you know, they, they, they are nice rail cars. They, they are. Um, I especially like the... Um, the bud. The... Uh, what is it? What was they... What were they called? The... Um, Metro Metro Liner cab cars. I really like them. I might have a, another look at them. I might return to them because they were fantastic. In fact, we've got time at the end of this video. I might have a look at them. Yeah, it's, it's it got quite a bit to, quite a while to go before we reached New York Penn even, and then we got to go round to uh, uh, Newark International. I think yeah, Newark Liberty. Somewhere where I have actually been. I, you know, I went, uh, I've only been to New York once, which is shocking, I know, but uh, it was actually 2019, December 2019. We got back, I think the day before the first Australian COVID case occurred, I think. But by that time, it didn't even have a proper name, it was just known as the mystery in pneumonia. So yeah, I went from there to here, to here, with the. Uh, New York, uh, uh, New Jersey Transit, and then from there to the World Trade Center, which is where I was staying. Well, near there, actually, it was in. Uh, what's the station called? Um, the new massive over the over the top station, subway station in New York, uh, Fulton Street. That's it. Um, I think, <coughs> and we stayed near there. And. Yeah, Fulton Street, nice station. I don't really talk about the New York subway. Um, yeah, I have views on it. I think it's underfunded, overcrowded, chaotic, very bad communication. I would have gone on the Long Island Railroad. I would have when I went. To JFK, I was flying out of JFK, come back to Sydney. I would have been able to travel there on the Long Island Railroad had the subway line, because we were in a uptown, I think, in the north of Manhattan. I don't know what uptown and downtown mean still. I just know that uptown means going up the town uh, towards uh, whatever, uptown, I don't know got absolutely no idea. I'm not going to pretend to know. We are in the north of Manhattan and then we had to go back to our hotel, get our stiff... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just tried to say stuff and shit at the same time. Get our stuff, um, get our butts over back up to Penn, and then... Oh, Jesus. And then, um... <clears throat> yeah, the Long Island Railroad. And we bought the tickets and we got onto the platform at, at Penn Station and the train just left. The doors just closed when we got on the platform. But the reason why we were late, we would have made it, had the subway line, I think it was the J train, had that not been suspended halfway through our journey when we were already on a J train, and the whole line got suspended because of a police operation, which sounds like complete dog sh um, bullshit. It's chaos. Um, that doesn't even happen in Sydney. And then there was no proper alternative to getting to our hotel, so we had to go 
on another line that was also part suspended, so he couldn't get the whole way there. So then we had to walk, and then we got, um, then I got lost. So I couldn't find the hotel I was staying at. So I couldn't get the, couldn't get my bag uh, very fast. And then by the time I got back up to Penn, then that happened. So then had to spend three times the money on a taxi fare. And then I just gave the taxi guy all of my money because I have no other reason, I have no other purpose to do with 50 US dollars. That was a good tip to that guy. But then as it turned out, the next Long Island tra Railroad train was about 15 minutes after the one that we were going to be on. And looking at the uh, time when the plane would have left, that would have got after the check-in time. So I thought, no, I can't do that. But it turned out, by the time I got... By the time we got to check-in, the flight was delayed by two hours. So I could have got onto that plane on the train, but I didn't because I was held up and because there's poor communication. And it might just be because I know London a bit better and that I know my way around the tube, but the subway map is confusing. It tries to be realistic, but it distorts reality even still. It tries, and, and the routes and numbers and stuff, it makes no sense to a foreigner. In the rest of the world, you have a colour which was, co corresponds to a service. That's how it works. Yeah, it's not that hard, New York. Not that hard. Like, we even nailed that one on the head here in Sydney. Uh, it can't be that hard, man. God. I might actually make a whole video on Sydney Metro at some point, because there's so many things that I don't like about it, how the doors don't work. Hey, look, there's the uh, Hellgate Bridge. The Sydney Harbour Bridge drew direct, or more or less complete, uh, going backwards, uh, complete inspiration from. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it, because we've already got commuter rail, but Sydney Metro kind of feels like a heavy rail line. It's got the same service frequency off-peak as the line it replaced. Because the current section that's open adds about 10 kilometers of new lines and about 5 kilometers of converted line. And that 5 kilometer of converted line had a higher capacity, albeit it used outdated uh, signaling, um, but so is the rest of Sydney, and it hasn't died yet. Um, Double-decker trains, better interconnectivity with the rest of the network, etc, etc, etc. And you come in here and build a metro line, which is completely incompatible with the rest of the city's railways. And you keep building new metro lines when you could be spending that money on just upgrading the signalling on the existing lines or buying new trains and upgrading the signalling instead of building a bunch more tunnels, a bunch more train and a bunch more stations all from scratch that aren't actually even that well connected to the existing network. Was able to walk between stations, which just sounds like going back to the 1800s with competing railway lines, and it doesn't actually feel very metro. It doesn't have a met very metro feel. It's got a lower capacity. The service frequency isn't that brilliant. It's four minute headways off on peak, ten minutes off peak, which is the same as the rest of the Sydney trains network in some sections. And they keep building more railway, but more Sydney, uh, more Sydney metro. But it's just stupid, because we, we're building a new airport in Sydney, yeah? And the state government goes, right, we've got to get new transport links for people to get to this new airport that we're building. And instead of going, we're going to extend the normal commuter rail network so people can get there and go straight to central Sydney on one train, 
we're going to force them to change trains in a place of Sydney not even I know much about. I wouldn't have a clue how to do that, and I live in Sydney. And get another train over, which is incredibly complicated, whereas you could just have a train that goes to Central Station from the second airport. You could have a train that goes to Central Station from Rouse Hill, which is opened at the moment. That's the only line of Sydney Metro. You could get better signalling on the lines that do exist, which is what they're doing anyway, so that you can increase service frequency, you can install ATO on those lines, and that way, instead of building an entirely new underground, badly built metro line to increase capacity, you can just add a few more trains and increase capacity that way. And the other line that they're building is just a converted heavy rail line. Literally, there's a heavy rail line that's open at the moment as a commuter railway and double deck trains with much better, con like amazing connectivity to the rest of the network. You, know, you can go up to Central through the City Circle, then straight back down. You can go the other way and head up towards Parramatta. But no, they close that line and they're turning half of it into Metro and keeping the other half as commuter rail. So that way, if you want to go through that area, you have to change trains. You have to, you know, you can't. It doesn't have. It has worse connectivity. It's just a bad idea. It, it just doesn't make any sense why you would do that. And especially when you look at the price tag. But whatever. It's like, for example, in London. Say the Northern Line is really busy, and they need to increase the capacity on the Northern Line. Instead of upgrading the signalling, building more trains, getting longer trains, instead of doing that, they decided, you know what, we're going to build another parallel Northern Line alongside, with no connectivity to the rest of the network at all. And it's going to, the stations are going to be about... 200 meters away from those of the northern line so if you want to get back to the original northern line you can't and then you build random lines on the other side of sydney then you build another line from upminster to um uh, say upminster to barking on the complete other side of the city but brand it under the same brand as the one that you've duplicated the northern line with and then you stop building more underground lines and just build more of those lines and still don't interconnect them with the other system. It's just stupid. It's just stupid. And then say, close the Wimbledon and Richmond branches of the branches of the district line and turn them into one of those lines. It's complete BS. Or for the people who live in Melbourne, it's like when you build as you're building the new Melbourne Metro Tunnel, all of the lines, all of the trains that you're gonna, or all of the lines that are now gonna be rerouted through that Metro Tunnel, you're gonna completely close, completely segregate from the rest of the network, and only have trains that go through that tunnel and none else, and you're gonna brand them as a different network, and you're not gonna have any connectivity between the rest. It's just stupid. And then you're gonna stop building more normal railways. Like if you look at the master plan for the strategy to what to do with railways in Sydney, none, nowhere are there extensions to the commuter rail network. It's only Sydney Metro. There's the new line out to the airport, there's a new line duplicating the lines to Parramatta, there's um, e extending the current line, um, all of that stuff. The only thing that's happened to the commuter rail network is closures either to be converted to light rail i.e. a tram or to be converted to Sydney Metro i.e. not much. Even if you look at the DLR that was built on new lines that didn't need as much demand as the tube and it was connected to the tube. This isn't like that. It's not connected to the tube it could have been built. There's enough demand to have a normal railway there it just, it makes no sense at all why you would, but whatever. And I remember um, 
I really recommend RM Tra RM Transit. Very good channel. Uh, I remember watching the demystified on the City Metro. He's going, it's a great solution. However, there are these minor issues, but it's a great system. And I was going, no, it's not, because it's bad. It, it, it's got bad interconnections, blah, 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 all the reasons I just said. And in the last video, he had compares Sydney, um, Sydney trains to the Paris RER. He goes, actually, I've changed my mind on Sydney Metro. It is bad, because it has bad connect connectivity, bad all of this stuff. I was like, yeah, I've been thinking that for the last few years. It's just a bad network. That's all it is. And it's been outsourced to be run by a Chinese company. In the middle, you know, a Hong Kong company owned by the Chinese government. In the middle of the Hong Kong protests. And I was like, really? You're supporting the Hong Kong protests government? Are you? Are you really? Is that get? Is that the game you want to play? But apparently it is. East River tubes at the moment. Rocking down. Getting very close to New York Penn. Look at that. It's a great screenshot. Amazing. Okay, right. We're gonna come off there and go full whack to get up this hill. Not a hill, it's inclined, but same thing. <sighs> okay. 1.8 kilometres to New York, Pennsylvania station. Mind you, I've actually got quite an extensive portion of this um, in Train Simulator, which I might have a look at, with the Acela as well. Um, I've, it's like Rochelle to something else. I don't know. Okay, so watch this. From 90 kilometers an hour, full brakes, uphill, we're going to get to 24 in so much time. Look at that! Look at how fast that's stopping! Look at that! It's just stupid! Absolutely bonkers. And here we can have a look, because they've actually just put all of this in a box to stop the light getting inside. And I don't even know why they bothered to model model that, because, I mean, who cares? But I, that's probably why it so, runs so badly compared to other routes, because they've modelled all of this. Whereas, you know, in the new routes, they only model the absolute bare minimum. Like, mm, you know, wouldn't have all of this stuff up here. That's for sure. Oh dear, that just, we stopped there, that's what happened. Okay, let's get moving. I know you shouldn't overpower these things. Um, but we are going uphill. Well, we might be late now. Oh no, we've still got three minutes. Early. That's what happens when you stop paying attention, children. So pay attention. Especially in the uh, religious education classes where they forcibly, uh, but not forcibly, um, where they force the children to separate into genders in the co ed school and then tell all the girls how bad it is to uh, have sex before marriage and tell all the boys that they shouldn't have sex before marriage. But then that doesn't make sense because what do you do if, you know, if you do have the other, yeah, your partner? Once you know what I'm saying, do you divorce them? Because you can't, because it's the Catholic, um, it's the uh, Anglican Church. You can't divorce. I don't think. Not a religious person. Well, technically, I'm Catholic, but I choose not to follow faith because I think it's bullshit. Seriously. I mean, I've got the deepest respect for the people who are religious, but I don't. Take a bar. Wow, look at that! Look at that physics! Wow! Oh, I didn't know New York was this magical that they've literally got ways of having invisible bars that hold the roof up. That's incredible. Okay, we're gonna go minimum break and watch the train absolutely stop on a dime. Look at that! We have got to make sure that the entire train is in the platform. Look at that clip. 
Oof. Minimum application layer. Come on, keep. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I've got the the greatest respect for people who are religious, but I choose not to follow it because I personally think um, that there's no way that there could be a god. I'm a very scientific person. No, no, I, I sometimes, I mean, I find, I do find it a little bit stupid uh, when I'm reading articles like uh, man will buy lion after trying to prove God would intervene. I find that hilarious um, on a personal level because, I mean, even if I was, re I mean, technically I am religious, so I'm allowed to make jokes about the Catholic faith. Um, and especially when this guy was talking about Catholic Catholicism, I just laughed that off because I found it complete. When I was getting confirmed, actually, I didn't have anything white to wear because I'm not a religious person, so I couldn't be bothered, and I couldn't be bothered to buy anything, uh, especially because clothes, are, posh clothes are expensive. Uh, but I couldn't be bothered to buy anything for the occasion, especially because I'm not religious. I actually got bribed to. Uh, to get confirmed, but I won't talk about that. Um, and so, uh, I I walked in there and I was dressed in all black because that's the only good like posh clothes I had that wasn't my school uniform at the time. Uh, and so I walked in in black, and the Archbishop of Sydney walked in and goes, "Are you in mourning?" Uh, no, I just don't really respect your religious festival because I'm not I don't really respect religion well I respect people who are religious don't get me wrong I'm not anti-religion I'm just personally I don't believe in religion so don't have that much respect for God and sin and prayer and stuff but I have no problem with other people having that level of respect for that, that kind of stuff don't get me wrong. I find studying religion interesting, though, um, because that's not forcing you to believe in religion. That's just you know saying. I mean, these are the religious beliefs. These are the um, and there are some important things. I mean, a lot of the modern world. I mean, a lot of scien scientists were religious in some capacity. I mean, the only outliers with that were the likes of Gallip um, Gallipoli, Galileo, who uh, got persecuted by the church because he said that the sun uh, doesn't, that the earth is not in the centre of the universe and that uh, the universe is in fact centred around the sun. Well, that's what they thought at the time. Um, of course it's not now and the uh, he got sentenced to a uh, home home sentencing he got uh, stuck inside his home wasn't allowed to leave uh, that kind of stuff so. and then you go uh, and the thing that I find when people take their faith too far like when people go uh, try and get themselves mauled or killed trying to prove God would intervene or you know, so you can't be gay being homophobic because it's against their religion being um, flat earth because they're against that in their religion um, I can understand originally, I mean you say um, not allowed to eat certain kinds of food for religious reasons, I can understand why because at the time that that religion was set up they would be unhealthy to eat but it doesn't really make that much sense to me in the modern world, but I can understand where they came from. Again, no problem with people who choose to follow that faith, it's just not what I choose to do. Um, but as I said, and I'm making this very clear, if you want to do that, go go eat your heart out. Um, just find these things hard to believe. But there are incredibly good morals, like be nice to everyone, try and find ways to solve solutions without resorting to violence, 
um, especially that of you know, Gandhi and Jesus. I don't know why I'm giving a uh, religious studies lesson. Last, I mean, I gave a geography lesson in the <laughs> flight simulator video. Go watch that if you haven't. Um, I'm giving a studies of religion lesson now. So what happens when I have some spare time? Especially when I'm stuck at underground, boring stations for 300 years. Yes, I did call Penn an uh, ugly central, an uh, ugly underground station. This is worse than Town Hall Station in Sydney, which is just like this. It's just a box underground with some pillars. Um, and it's loud, and it's smelly, and it, it's not a nice place. Um, and it's dirty. Underground stations are really nice. Clean. They got designated platforms and they weren't just built like a complete shit show. Um, no, this is a really bad station. There's no styling to it at all. In Grand Central is also a pretty bad station. I would say it is the world's largest station by platforms. It's not the world's busiest station by any means. It is definitely not um, my favourite station. Uh, yes, the Grand Concourse, or whatever the hell it's called, is uh, quite nice. I won't deny that. But uh, the, um, the platforms are just like Penn. They sold the air rights to them, so now they're just all underground in a box. Which I do not like, personally. I have been to Grand Central Station though, I spent quite a lot of time walking around there looking at the M7s and the um, arrows, whatever they're called, um, river liners or whatever Metro North calls them. And the um, M8s. I don't think there were any M2s or M1s that were all retired by then. Not that I'd know. Can't really properly remember. I can remember seeing an M7A. Yes, I can indeed. If you're enjoying the video as well, uh, consider subscribing and like the video, please. And, uh, oh god, that was very loud. Um, if you want to support the channel more, make sure you check out the Patreon where you can receive channel perks for as low as £1 per month or £12 a year of one morning coffee not that you'd be having a morning coffee because you're all stuck at home Actually, I, I know I'm stuck at home because uh, um, Gladys Berejiklian and manages the Covid crisis impeccably that's why we're all at home in lockdown in a state of emergency when uh, from one single case and that's why Scotty from marketing deny uh, denied permission to have more vaccines rolled out to New South Wales. But we won't talk about that because uh, the government's obviously impeccable and not corrupt at all. Not that I'll say that because I'll get sued for defamation by the government for calling them corrupt. Even though I have evidence of it, but whatever. Forty-two percent power. Let's try and keep it balanced at 96. Which is a stupid number, but whatever. And the loco's really quiet. Okay, still at 95. Don't have a problem with it though. Cause it's alright, it's not that bad. Yeah, Biden said he was going to upgrade these tubes at one point. At least he cares about Amtrak. Hasn't he like gone the equivalent of 
three times to the moon and back with Amtrak or something stupid like that because he goes from what Philly to Washington most a lot of the time when he was a senator he did that every day or something I don't know I haven't got a clue I don't follow politics that closely but I do know I don't support conservative parties Oh no, only 40, 36 frames a second, back up to 60, oh god, which uh, the game's not even running at, so you'll be seeing this actually, how the game's running, because I boosted my settings, because at the moment if it's saying encoding overload, it's um, it's not going to change that much. Okay, let's go full whack, let's try and get up to the speedy boys. This is a really nice part of the route. I really like this. That's come and it's really quiet as well. It's really quiet. Don't know if they're going to reuse these sounds or going to get new ones. But the horn's rubbish. Yeah, it's a horrible horn. Um, no, I, I, I really like this. I really like the train. Really, really like it. And it's really detailed as well in all of these bolts weathered individually Okay, there's one for one, and we're pass passing through a NJT station. As we approach New York Pen. It's weird how there's New York Pen and then to New York Pen. I, I, can't, I can imagine how many times that people would get confused over that. And it's stupid how you have to. Like, when I came, you had to pay 20 bucks for one person for a ticket to go from this station to this station and then two dollars from this station all the way over here on path oh dear me we are going quite fast you know what i don't even care let's get this over and done with quickly it's just because there's a shitty swing bridge here also what is up with this these power line buggers why are they so high and I, I get it because it's a bridge or something, but really, does it have to be that high up? And like, why do all of these have a massive tower? A, a European catenary system somehow manage not having like a bloody cake monster on top of every or every tower. <laughs> and you might have a little cable running along the side of one side. I mean, I thought Australian catenary was bad, but it's not as bad as this, I can assure you that. God, why is the speed limit so low here? I'm just going to cruise in like this until I have to slow down. Why don't you make me? I'm not even going that. I'm going a little bit too fast now, so I'll apply a touch of brakes. There you go. I don't think I need to do that much more. I'll slow down for the 70, but I... speed limits here are absolutely all over the place, and at this point I couldn't be bothered to follow them anymore, so I'm not. Also, the speedo hasn't properly faded out. You can see the needle there all over the place. Minimum application. Now, bring us down to 140. But aside from that, I couldn't be bothered doing anything else. Couldn't be bothered at all. <coughs> Dying. Surprised to know. Okay, we're going to go down to 70 now, so go minimum application, and that will slow us down on an absolute dime. Jesus Christ, look at that. It's just going. It's just going. I mean, I can't imagine what the emergency brake on this would be like. It'd kill more people than actually getting into a crash in the first place.
Right, uh, 54 kilometers an hour. Coming in quite slowly, but uh, we've got the time. We have the time, indeed. The wait times at these stations, though, are shocking. Uh, so I, I don't plan to do this for much longer. Why don't we have a look around and hopefully not get too distracted? Got a vent. Hear the electrical hum. I mean, I, I don't know what are inside all of these things, because they're not the traction motors. They might be like an inverter or something, I don't know. I've got no idea what electrical gubbins would be in here. We're not even in the platform yet. Bras. 30 miles an hour. Oh god, this screen tells you everything. Got traction effort, voltage. I don't know why that would change. Uh, it only changes, you've got a power gap, would it not? Right, let's go full brakes and see what this does. Jesus Christ! It just stopped! It just stopped! What in God's name possesses this train to brake like that? Pinch point. Also, I, this is just... Oh, you're kidding! Is that not in the platform enough for you. You have to be kidding. Hello, train. Oh, you open? Traction blocked. Why are you use traction blocked? Oh, because the doors are open. That makes sense. Okay, move. Don't have electrical sounds anymore, but I don't care. There you go. Doors are unlocked. Let's go have an explore. That was annoying. Compressor. Is there a train on the other platform? Oh, there is two, and it's moving. Is it stopping or going? It's going, I think. Newark. I wonder where we can walk around. Because I haven't, I've hardly ever played this route. Because, I mean, I used to a lot a while back, but I haven't played it like at all for a year or more. I played it a little bit earlier today. Um, had a few runs. And the thing I don't understand about this game is there is some of the stations, uh, this route especially, and for Long Island, Long Island Railroad, there were no ways to get between the platforms. Like, how am I supposed to get to the other platforms from here? I mean, that's just a dead end on both sides. It's not a good simulation at all. Like, like, literally, how am I supposed to get over there? I mean, the AI just spawn in. They just spawn on the platform. And they even modelled the, um, the path platforms up here. Um way up here uh, but there's no way to get in and out of them there's just a blocked up concrete door and there are no collectibles as well in this route it's too early for them I think ok let's go HEP on good accelerate slowly Mr. Slowly so we've got to be there at uh, in four minutes. I think we can go there in four minutes. But I don't really want to be there uh, super early because I have to wait anyway. <sighs> this is nice. I like this. Okay.
Okay, there's 30. About three and a half kilometers. I think we can do that. I think we've got the time to we'll go up to half power, but we won't go 40% power. We'll do that. Oh, lovely horn. At least there's Doppler effects, so they win over the uh, Arosa line and the Isle of Wight on that. Bing, bing, bing. I don't understand why they've got bells and massive lights. Hearing a bell, if someone's driving a car and they can't hear the horn, they're not going to be able to hear the bell. Especially when the horn sounds until you're on top of the crossing. So if someone's like just driving through and they haven't heard the horn, they're not going to hear the bell either. And why do they have the bells on when they're going through platforms? What's the point of that? Because you're waiting for the train, you're going to know when the train's going to be there, aren't you? And generally, you're not going to miss when that thing's roaring through the platform at very low speed as well. Right, I think we might actually go to full whack here, because we're actually cutting it a bit time, tight for time. Bit tight for time, indeed. Noise, 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 Gary. That's still some people still consider that a meme, if you asked. Not that you did. Okie dokie. All right. Uh, oh dear God, that was. A speed limit change there that I obviously noticed about. We will apply some brakes now because um, we are two minutes early at the moment. Two minutes early, indeed, indeed. Right, we're gonna try and get there on time ish. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother waiting for the doors to fully close. Uh, I'm not even going for points on this because I don't. I'm not gonna play this game again for a few weeks. Possibly for a year, or maybe not. I mean, I'm not going to even have a need to drive this train, because I will have had it in Boston Providence. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to. So, yeah, we'll cruise in. I'll open the doors and then wrap up. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if you have enjoyed. And there, yeah, there's the Patreon. Patreon being the giver of all good things. I am the charity. Obviously, I'm a trusted charitable fund. I've got many things that I would put into charity. Okay, wait for the whole train to get into the plate forum. God, I just don't understand how good the brakes are on this thing. Unless the physic is the physic the physic is scuffed. Unless the physics are scuffed, then I've got no idea why. Okay, and also the stop point is behind us, so uh, the train wouldn't be in the platform if we actually stopped on the stop point. And the brakes also release pretty fast as well. Okay, we'll stop now. Newark Liberty International Airport, air train to terminals. Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!